beautiful welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell by my voice i am a little bit sick i have a cold and you may notice that i have no hair and i'll explain that in a minute let me get that line in hopefully that works yeah as you guys can see hopefully um my hair is gone. I've done a big chop. And what a big chop is essentially where you go about your natural hair colour and whatever your curl pattern is. Instead of cutting it into a really short barb, I decided to basically buzz it all off. I did damage my hair to the point of no return, but I'm glad I did it because now it's growing back healthy and I've noticed some things that you guys won't know if you guys can see right here i have a lot of lighter pieces than my brown color what that essentially is is gray hair i'm coming on 32 and i have little tints of gray in my hair and when i shaved it off there were gray hairs in there so um, I'm just going to let my hair be natural, um, I am growing my hair for one year of no heat and then in the second second year I'm going to be using heat but obviously diffusing my hair, trying different styling techniques and stuff to bring spring up my curls. Um, And um, I'd, I'm giving my hair roughly three years before dyeing, three whole years before dyeing it. I might not dye it roughly, I might, I might not. But one thing I know, I have noticed is since I've grown my hair from a fresh start, is my hairline has completely changed. Yet again, it is more lower, again, but because my hair is got some grey in it, it's very sparse in a lot of areas, as you guys can see. It looks like I'm balding, it's just that it is very, very light because it is grey. I also had my blocker two days ago and the doctor screwed up on my medication, which means I've been off my hormones for four days but I recently went back on them yesterday no actually two days ago and um, let me tell you this is what they don't tell you in during transition is the fact that when you are off your hormones <clears throat> is because you've got nothing going in your body because you've blocked it hopefully you've got no estrogen coming in and your testosterone is blocked hopefully it drains your energy and that's what's been happening to me this is the fourth time it's happened and hopefully my energy for even though i'm sick hopefully i am ill and that i, I was i was that happened to me before roughly and my energy levels were going down and because i'm ill roughly as well roughly it's gone down even more but I am getting better just so as you know but that can happen to you um, as for laser hair removal I've had my third session and I have had a 70% reduction in hair there's only this area this area and a bit down here and I think it's just a little bit here hopefully that's just growing back but I am not going to be a regular on YouTube, hopefully. Um, I've not really been a regular on YouTube for a long time. It's because my life is quite busy at the moment. But Bear, what are you doing? Oi. Need my baby. That's your weak spot, isn't it? Down your nose bridge. Mm. 
but I am on a sewing course, hopefully, <coughs> so uh, my voice is going, but I've done really well with it, I'm currently working on a project for my my nana, or my gran, hopefully, and I'm hand embroidering her name, and it's got this flower design, something simple, but this is going to be going on a blanket, and it's going to look perfect. I've not been doing any sewing at the moment because I've just not had the energy but um, I am very good at hand embroiderer to the point this is some of my work I have two trees with some leaves for four leaves coming um, I'm making the moon a bit bigger and um, I'll be adding a couple more stars but this is my denim jacket as you guys can see it looks awesome I still gotta do some finishing touches but that's basically what's going on transition wise my body is changing still um, believe it or not my breasts grow. Um, I wore a 36B because um, bubba. Um, that was what I was. I was a B cup, but um, I kept splurging out. Yes, I still wear a bra and stuff, even though I have no hair and that lot. But I am now a 36C. I'm a C cup. Hopefully, um, biggish breasts actually running my family, and I don't think they're done growing. Um, they're definitely not gr done growing, they are quite big for someone like me, hopefully, where you are not of a small stature, and I have lost a good amount of weight as well my stomach used to push out a lot I have literally lost a lot obviously I'm wearing black you can't really tell but I do this can you guys see I have lost quite a bit of weight in my stomach you can see it's a lot more slimmer it's not that much of a change but this is what's currently going off in my life um, my hormones have um, gone back to normal I can tell it's gone back to normal but just be careful if you are in transition that this can happen to you because it makes you feel lazy um, that's basically it you guys are not going to be seeing me for a good while um, because I've got far too much to be do get done but this is roughly what my hair looks like my hair is light brown and now it is light brown with a mix of slight grey hair. I'm not going to know more until um, it grows out a bit more. But I can tell from looking in the mirror and stuff that I have official grey hair mixed in with my brunette hair. But um, I hope you guys are going to be with me for my official proper transition of my curly hair journey and hopefully my grey hair transition because as my hair grows out hopefully my hair if it is if it has got grey which I do believe it has and that art it's going to just grow out but I have a lot of plans this year for designs I'm going to be made once I've done with my jacket and my nana's bag 
I'm making a um, shopping bag or a tote bag and I'm putting a family tree on it where the leaves have my family's names on them and what I'm also going to be doing is well I'm going to be making my own Christmas jumper um, I've got some of the designs hopefully already coming <clears throat> And I'm going to have a ball and have some fun designing clothes or well, clothes designs I'm not at the stage of making clothes at the moment but clothes designs with you know it's patterns and stuff and now that so that's what's going off hopefully you guys have seen my first draft of work and now you are seeing my second draft which I wear pretty much all the time now hopefully and it's amazing and I'm so proud that I've learnt how to do this I had to do a second coat of paint so as you guys can see but that's a fox and it looks awesome and he wants um, fin I finish being ill Wolfie because I can't go in college this week because I'm full of flow aka a cold and that was, so this week is going to once I'm recovered I'm putting up a unit and finishing this so the following week I can actually get the stuff I need done I also have some temp stencil templates coming for my mum and what I'm also doing as well is getting a white plain hooda and um, doing a jack skeleton design on it roughly from that maple for Christmas so that's it roughly that's basically what's going to happen and I hope you guys are here for it roughly um, a lot's going to be changing and bubba Stop, leave it alone. But I'm looking forward to the future and I will most probably see you guys in a couple of months and I will show you each of my designs from college because I am learning to sew. For me, I find sewing and embroidery very therapeutic because um, a lot has gone off in my life just like most people's and I'm turning that into something positive instead of something negative all the time because like I've told my aunties and stuff and like family members I'm still traumatised from when my gran had her stroke in front of me and it's the same thing for my mother she's made a full recovery you won't know she's had a stroke but the trauma is still there and it still gets me upset and um stop um unfortunately for my family Wolfie it's what's happened Wolfie so I'm turning it into something positive and putting that negativity into something creative and artistic in my designs and I cannot wait. I will see you guys the next time I see you, which won't be for a good while, which will be a hair growth update and a hormone update. I am going up in dose. My, um, the gender clinic, I had my appointment. There was a hell of a struggle with it. I lost the video call chat thing. And um, lucky enough, um, my person, around me from the gen the person around me from the gender clinic who I was seeing Laura and um I'm where I need to be on my hormones <clears throat> hormone levels will flare um my blocker doesn't need to go up currently and um I'm going up to four in the morning and three at night and then I'll be on a full dose after that <clears throat> you can hear by my voice that it's cracking because it's dead sore as well but that's what's going on for free. Stay tuned for some more content.
um if you like this channel and if you want to see more kind of like designs and how i do embroidery and stuff i might upload a video on how to do that because my favorite thing to do um favorite stitch is a, I, can't, I think it's called a stem stitch and there are these different kinds of stitches there's um, overlocking stuff like that there's loads of them you won't think that there's loads of stitches there is there's one for, for doing petals and stuff like that well, there's, um, there's a lot but um, I will see you guys in the next video